everybody. I am so excited to share with you my planner lineup. You're seeing a lot of planners over here, but I, but trust me, they're all living inside of this one book. So I am, if you are new to planning, a Franken planner. And if you are not new to planning, you probably have heard that term before. But what that means is that I just like to take a bunch of different planners and like section out my life, but I need them to be all in one book, basically. So I need a bunch of different sections to keep my life in order, but I also need everything to be together in one book. I have videos about how I Franken plan and how that works for me. And I will link my Happy Planner 101 playlist if that's of interest to you, but make sure you check that out. And then we will start talking about my planner lineup. This is actually in progress right now because I am just about to go to Go Wild as I'm filming this. I think I am at Go Wild as you are watching this. <laughs> I don't know when this one is gonna go live. I've been filming a thousand videos today, but I am probably at Go Wild as you are watching this. So I have my Go Wild planner in here. If you're interested in seeing that, again, I can link it for you, but not all of the planners that I normally have in here are in here. So I took out like my wellness and a bunch of different things so that I could fit my Go Wild planner in here with my dashboard planner which I'll show you in just a minute. This does not have everything in here that I am going to be using, but this is kind of what I am gonna be using. And maybe I can do like a March setup with you and kind of show you what that is gonna look like. So without further ado, <laughs> longest intro ever, let's talk about the planners that I am using and what I'm using them for. So this is the only planner that is going to be separate. So I will essentially just have these two books. This planner I would like to use as an on the go planner and I would like to create some list sections. So I love the Skinny Classic. I love having one in my lineup. I love having one in my rotation. I think they're so nice that where I can just kind of throw them into my purse and keep all of that information in here. But I also love having my Classic as well. So my Classic is gonna start living at home. I have been dragging her around everywhere with me, but I think it's time to retire that system because it's just getting so big and bulky. It's not even a very big planner, but taking it in my bag is it is a pretty big planner. I'd like to have this as kind of my on the go planner. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this cover on it or what we're going to do there, but I do really like this planner. I like the dividers in it and I like the horizontal layout. It's, I think it would be cool to practice in a horizontal again. So this is going to be my purse planner with some lists in it, as well as a few notes about what's going on for the day. So I'll kind of see what works for me and I'll try out a few different systems. If you are a skinny classic planner and you use this for your on the go, leave me any recommendations that you have, any ways that you use it. I would love to know as I get started. So there is that. This isn't a planner, <laughs> but I get questions about it all the time. So this is the home extension pack and I have, you can see the dividers in here. So it has chores, meal plans, budget projects. And in here are a lot of really like neutral sheets. So all of the sheets for like your chores and your budget and your meal planning and everything, it's very neutral. That's why I love this one. <laughs> and I pick one up every time I see it. Yeah, I love this. This is my home planner that is a companion to like my regular dashboard planner for all of my personal life stuff. So it's not a planner, <laughs> but I'm including it in the lineup anyway, because I just love this thing so stinking much. Okay, also, I have moved away from using a budget planner. And I think this year I'm going to use the budget guided journal instead. So if you've ever watched one of my budget videos, every time I come on there, I'm like, mm, went over budget. I don't know how to fix this. I don't know what I'm doing. Even now that I have a different salary than I had before, I'm still going over budget. So that sounds like a me problem. And I feel like this guided journal is going to be really helpful. There's a lot of like reflection tools as well as like tracking your expenses and that kind of thing to keep me accountable. And I definitely want to allow myself enough money for the things that I want. I don't want it to feel like a pun punishment, but I definitely want to work towards having a, a better savings account. So I think that that this will be good. And then I also, I just want to not be always waiting on like a bonus or waiting on like extra money or something like that to be able to get through things. So instead of using the budget planner, I'm going to be using the budget guided journal for 
my budget needs. So there is that. And then for my work planner, I am using this student layout and this student layout is really cool. So it actually, it's almost done. I hope they make another one of these cause I actually really like it. So it has like your regular monthly and then it has some of these like, let's see, we have plan, organize, initiate, note to self, and then track and evaluate. So these are really helpful tools for me. And if you are unfamiliar with what I do for work or me in general, I am a social media marketing manager. Formerly, I was an educator for 12 years and then left the field and am now working in marketing. This is really nice for me. And then like a running to-do list is also really nice. And then I love this hourly format, especially for like scheduling posts and like taking meetings and like organizing my time where I'm engaging with other accounts, that kind of thing. This is really nice for that as far as like my work. So um, this is the planner that I am using for all of my work needs until it runs out in July. So we will see what happens. I'm hoping beyond hope that they make this again. Otherwise I will just switch into another hourly planner, which it's fine. I might, okay, here's what I might do. Happy planner earmuffs, but I might make copies of those pages and then just have those to put into my planner. So might do that. We'll see. But I love, I love that layout. So happy planner. Please bring that back. Okay. And then I also have a recipe planner. This has been in a lot of my planner lineup videos. I've had this thing for many years. I have always hoped to actually write something in it and I never have. But this year, 2023, I really, really would like to get some recipes going. I feel all very motivated because my daughter is 15 this year and I want to send her off with one of these with all of our family recipes and I want it to be cute where she has this like nice recipe book that she can use. She'll probably just look it up on the internet, but I really want to gift this to her when she moves out. So. I need to get moving. <laughs> and so that is one of my goals this year is to get recipes written down and pretty and decorated and that kind of thing. So recipe planner is also in the lineup. And then I am using this 18 month wellness planner. I love this cover. It's so pretty and so nice. I really like it a lot. So it has, let's see, it's 18 months. So most of it is done, but in March, it, it's just like a neutral wellness layout. So like you have your intentions, your nourishment, your movement, and then you're taking note space. So that is kind of what that looks like. And then it's got a regular monthly, that kind of thing. So I am, when I get back from Go Wild, I am going to really focus on taking care of my wellness. I really struggled last winter with migraines and I've been struggling with just like feeling feeling good in my body like I am I'm a very confident person and I am fine with my body really at any size but I am struggling with like movement and like being able to keep up with things and I don't really want to do that so <laughs> I want to get back in touch with my body and like my you know connect my brain and body and all of that good stuff so wellness planner is going to be in the lineup this year. And then, oh my gosh, I have like a the stack of planners over here. <laughs> I'm trying to make them not fall. And then for my own personal social media, I am going to be using this monthly layout. First of all, I love the dividers. I think they're just so pretty and I just, I love them. I love it so much, but I feel like for my own personal social media, I can really function well with the monthly layout. So this is a, such a nice dashboarding space for me for my own personal social media stuff because I have so many things going on and then really just like lists of what I need to get done is very helpful so that is why I chose this one so I will be using that for my own personal social media and then last but not least I'm using the Zay Wild dashboard planner <laughs> don't know where her cover went but I am using this one and I love it my favorite feature about this planner is I love the dashboard layout for my personal life but I, my favorite thing is the long, what I call the homebody list. So that is my completed lineup and I'm excited about it. I, I know that we're like almost midway through March and I'm just now sharing my planner lineup, but I just kind of got back into the swing of things. I'd like to think that, uh, <laughs> that January and February are trial months. So 
Franken planning all of these. We'll see how many of them stick around, but I am using multiple planners again. Oh, and this one too. So let me know like how many planners you are using, what planners you are loving, and maybe we'll do a setup of my March, mid-March monthly setup. So let's get that going. But if you are new here, <laughs> hello, my name is Caitlin and I would love it if you would hit that red subscribe button down below and give me a subscribe and a follow and all of those good things. And if you are not new, I am thankful that you are here and you have stuck around. So here is your internet hug for the day. If you'd like to find me anywhere else, you can find me on Instagram at creating in chaos underscore official, as well as um, over on starting March 7th, uh, the Spice Chaos podcast, wherever you get your favorite podcasts. And with that, you guys, by the way, have fun today.